Coming up next, Frank and Mary here in Framingham with your hosts, Grace O'Donnell and me, Art Bergeron. Uh, our guest today is Paula Geller, Programs Director at the Callahan Center. Uh, stay tuned. Welcome to this episode of Frank and Mary in Framingham. I'm Grace O'Donnell, Director of Elder Services at the Callahan Center. And I'm Art Bergeron. My day job is as an elder law attorney at Myrick O'Connell. Um, there are 70 of us at Myrick. Our closest office is in Westboro. We're in uh, Westboro, Frank, uh, excuse me, Westboro, Worcester in Boston. But this is not about my day job. Um, this is about my friends, Frank and Mary. If you've seen my presentations, uh, at the Callahan Center or other places, you know that Frank and Mary's goal in life is to live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard. And if you identify with them and you just want to stay in Framingham forever, the question is, who are the people that you need to know and what are the programs that you need to know about in order to do just that? I know we've got a great uh, guest today to talk about that. Uh, Grace, whom do we have today? Hi, Arthur. Our guest this month is Paula Geller, the Programs Activity Manager at the Callahan Center. She'll share with us today the broad array of programs and activities offered for people 55 and older at the Callahan Center, both in Zoom and in person. And she will also give us a bit of a sneak preview of some of our upcoming cultural program events. Great. great. Thank you so much for coming, Paula. This is great. I know that we, we, we had met before, actually, in one of these programs. So it's great to see you. Correct. So thank you so much for having me, Arthur and Grace. Thank you so much. This is one of my favorite topics, programs at the Callahan Center. We are so fortunate to have a dynamic mix of programs available. We really try to have something for everyone. And um, that may not be so easy because we cover a wide uh, age span uh, at our center for ages 55 plus. And we have uh, many people that are 90 plus that come. So as you can imagine, the interests of a 55 plus and the interests of a 80 plus may be a little different, um, but we do have some overlap. And, and uh, I think we do a pretty good job of balancing out our program mix. Um, I've, I've kind of broken our programs down into four main areas. One would be fitness. The other would be recreational and social. We also have cultural and educational programs. And then we focus on health and wellness. As Grace mentioned, we have programs on Zoom and in person. Uh, we've been back in person since the beginning of June, but we're still keeping a balance of both uh, to make programs accessible to everybody, whether they're able to come into the Callahan Center or whether they're at home. So I'd like to start by talking about our fitness offering. It's very varied. It um, hopefully, hopefully addresses a wide range of, uh, of um, physical activity levels and interest levels. So I'll lead with one of our high energy classes, which is um, strength training and cardio. And that's taught by uh, Delaney Taylor. And I would like to just add, um, we are so fortunate to have terrific instructors in all that we offer at the Callahan Center. Um, we do a really good job of vetting the instructors to make sure they're experienced, they're professional, they're well-versed in the areas that they teach, and also that they have experience in working with older adults. This is really important to us. Um, on top of all that, we wanna make sure that they make the classes fun and enjoyable for everyone. We find that all of our instructors have a very loyal following, but we are continually welcoming new students to class. Today, we just had three new students walk into a Zumba class. And so the instructors are really good at integrating new people, no matter when they come in. So we've got people knowledgeable in, in pretty much what the routines are, and then other people who are going to come in and we're going to integrate you into the class and the, the instructor will work with you. The other thing our, all of our instructors do 
is they will um, discuss any concerns you have. If you've got uh, a sore shoulder or you've dealt with some physical ailments, they'll talk to you about ways to adapt the exercise so that they're safe for you and beneficial for you. So, um, so everybody welcome. So strength training cardio, it mixes aerobic movements, it builds strength and flexibility, it helps with balance, the fitness routines vary. Um, our participants use uh, hand weights, and they also use resistant bands, and it provides a really good all over work workout. Um, some of the exercises are done seated and most are done standing, but again, you can adapt your level. I would say this is probably one of our most high energy classes. I have an, an 80 year old in that class who came in the other day and she was just very excited that she had to show me her muscles and no kidding. <laughs> this, this class builds muscles. Um, Delaney is, is, is really uh, all about that and strength. So, and, and your health, um, like all of our classes, um, the ones where we do have a very small fee, it's pay as you go. So no big commitment. Most of our classes are $3. And another one of our classes is Zumba. If you like to dance, this class is for you. Our instructor, Susan Craver, um, mixes Latin rhythms with easy to follow moves. She's a great teacher, lots of fun. Um, the music is really great. And, uh, and, and uh, people are continually joining this class. Uh, for something that's just a, a little different in building strength and balance, you might wanna think about chair yoga. This is a primarily a seated chair yoga class. Uh, we offer this class twice a week, once on Zoom and once in person. Um, some people take it twice a week, some people prefer one format over another. Um, the cheer yoga class is really great for improving strength and balance. It increases flexibility, mobility, and can help reduce stress. Our instructor, Rebecca Reber, teaches at senior centers throughout Metro West, and, um, and she's just uh, very warm and welcoming and so knowledgeable in what she does, and we're really fortunate to have her. We also have in that same vein, Tai Chi. So Tai Chi is sometimes described as meditation in motion because it promotes serenity through gentle movements, which connect the mind and the body. I think when I watch this, I always feel like it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's like a coordinated dance. Um, it's just very beautiful to watch. And John Woodward, our teacher, teaches at the Metro West YMCA and also at Senior Center and out Metro West. Um, his class is, is uh, once a week on Mondays. We also have two free classes. One is a weekly aerobics class that's taught by Anthony Tolson from our park in Framingham Park and Rec staff. It's a very low impact. So I know people hear aerobics and they're thinking it's high energy and jumping and up and down. Not our class. Ours is kind of a laid back aerobics class. Uh, it's very low impact. Um, it's mostly stretches. You can use light weights if you opt to do so. It's some standing and some seated. It is a free 45 minute class. And, um, and so um, it's just the right amount of exercise for, for a lot of our folks. Anthony, I would just add in, Paula, I would just like to add in, although it's low impact aerobics, it's high fun. It is Anthony high fun. really makes it enjoyable for people. It is. And uh, Anthony has a terrific way about him. He's got a great um, music mix. And I would say um, music is really a big part of the aerobics class, the Zumba class and the uh, strength training classes. So, um, you know, it keeps them fun and it keeps people moving and um, and it's just a fun group and the people in the class are very wel welcoming. There's just such a nice sense of community when you come to a fitness class at the Callahan Center. Um, I was going to mention the other class that Anthony teaches is a free monthly stretch class. This was something that we started uh, when we were closed during COVID. And uh, it was really just to help people keep help people keep their bodies flexible and strong and healthy. And it's once a month, 30 minutes, it's free. It's the first Friday of every month. And the thought behind it is uh, Anthony introduced these stretches and we provided a handout so that people can continue to do these at home and work at home with them. They're very simple and easy to do. 
And the last um, program that we have that I would mention in conjunction with fitness is mindful living and meditation because the way your mind work is, is really a component of good health. And our instructor, Lisa Campbell, is a professional meditation and mindfulness coach. She's been with us for close to five years. She teaches mindful awareness practices, breathing techniques, and meditations that help nurture a positive mindset, help reduce tension, and who can't use that, and anxiety, too. So, um, you know, that also is a popular class for us. That is also offered on Zoom on Mondays and in person on Wednesdays. And oh, can, can I just, sure. I'm sorry, can I just go back? Did you say that the ones that they you pay for, they're like $3 a class? Yes. That's, I'm, that's, that's, you, you, I'm, I've got, I, I, my, my medium Dunkin' Donuts coffee is the cost, <laughs> the cost of one of your classes. That's, yeah, that's a great way to look at it. It's just, right. it's just incredible. That's great. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, and, and we know classes aren't for everyone. So we actually have a fairly new fitness center at Callahan. And so uh, this fitness center is open nine to four. And Arthur, just to kind of follow up on what you just said about the pricing, we charge $2 a, a go to, to use the fitness center. Uh, it is designed with seniors in mind. We have about eight or nine new workout machines. One is our, our SciFit recumbent stepper, and it takes unnecessary pressure off the joints. It has a low starting resistance, so it allows anybody to accomplish their goals. Uh, we also have a treadmill in there, a rower, weights, an elliptical, uh, and more. So we encourage people to come and take a look at our uh, fitness center. And, um, and that's pretty much what our fitness offering is. I just take a minute and answer any questions you might have about that. Grace knows all about this stuff. I'm just amazed by the variety. So, and I know you've got a, a broad, obviously you've got a broad age range too, right? Yeah. But for, you know, but once again, for po for folks, many of whom are watching the show but may not go to this to the Callahan Center because they're like, oh, that's just those old people, you know. And I don't, right? you know, you, to, to you know, to get a sense that 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 they understand that ages are from, are all over the place, right? And um, actually, Arthur, I would say it doesn't matter your age. One of the most vigorous attender, attendees at the strength and training cardio session is 92 years old. <laughs> and she <laughs> loves it. So, you know, age is all what we make of it. And part of keeping ourselves healthy is exercising at every age. Some of the folks here are more committed to exercising the, the three or four times a week than I am. And so I'm saying they're going to be outliving me. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah, That's great. it's true. When that music starts too, everybody is up and moving and it's, it's just really great. It's a great way to, uh, most of our fitness classes are in the morning and it's a great way to start the day. So if you're okay, I'm going to move on to some recreational sure. social programs. Um, you know, we feel strongly that uh, so staying socially active and engaged is really important for older adults. And so we try to provide a lot of opportunities to meet with others and share interests and, uh, and socialize. And so I'll quickly go through, uh, we have a lot of opportunities depending on what folks are interested in. Uh, if, you're, if you're a game player, we have pinochle and cribbage and bridge, and um, we have poker, chips only. Uh, we, ha we also have um, a hearty group of mahjong players and scrabble players, and we look forward to bringing bingo back to the center this spring. Um, we also have recreational games, chair volleyball. Um, in the fall through the spring, we have a bowling league that meets at the bowling alleys in Millis. We, in the summer, we have bocce at Callahan State Park. We have Callahan Golf at the, South Bar at the Southboro Golf Club. We also have two billiards tables and two ping pong tables that get a good workout here. Um, so a lot in terms of games and recreational games. We also have discussion groups. Um, we have a couple of weekly discussion groups 
Conversation and Humor, which meets on Zoom every Friday. We have a current events discussion group that meets in, at Callahan Weekly. We have a terrific sports fanatics group that meets at Callahan on Mondays. And I don't know if you live in Massachusetts, you got to be a sports fanatic. So if you're into sports, we hope you'll think about joining that group, Grace. Yeah, I just want to give a plug for that. People tend to think of sports fanatics as just being a bunch of guys. There are several women who attend that group as well. So if any woman is hesitating because they think they'll be the only first, only female there, you, you may not be. So uh, come on and, and check out the group. Great. And uh, we also have Grupo Latino Americano, which is, uh, which is a conversational um, group for native speaking Spanish um, individuals. And so if, if you are, we hope you'll join that group. They're very active. They're here every week. Uh, in addition, we have a monthly book discussion group. We have a monthly travel discussion group. And we have a, a chapter of the Red Hat Honeybees. And so if that's ever been your interest, um, that they meet for fun and conversation. We also have special interest groups. We have a weekly genealogy group. We have weekly sewing groups and a monthly knitting group. So there's a lot going on at Callahan just with these groups alone. Um, I think almost all of these groups except conversation and humor and travel are in person at this time. So it's very great for us to welcome people back into the center. Um, and then I would move on. One of the cornerstones I think of Callahan's programming is our cultural and our educational programs. Uh, we have a wide variety of these and these programs change every month. So they don't stay the same. Um, and at the core of these off offerings, we're really fortunate to receive funding that enable us to bring in some top-notch quality presenters. And this funding comes from the Framingham Cultural Council, the Massachusetts Cultural Council, and also from the Friends of Callahan. And they are offered free to older adults. So all of these specialty programs, there is no charge for, and um, we're really happy about that. Um, we try to identify programs that promote lifelong learning, that bring enrichment to people's lives, and also engage people in new thoughts and ideas and conversation. So for example, we have a cultural arts series um, coming up for next year. It'll include the areas of music, film, literature, and art. Uh, for the music programs, we really try to incorporate a variety of genres that can be anything from opera to the Great American Songbook to contemporary music. So um, for this year, we're going to do a series on Latin music and the music of Motown with Brett Abagania, who's a composer, a lecturer, and instructor. We're also looking forward to a classical music series with Savan Edigi, who's a pianist and teacher, and live musical performance from a Beatles tribute band that we had this year. They were absolutely fantastic, a duo, and uh, also a tribute to Sinatra Standards with Lisa Eaves, who's a vocalist, songwriter, and musician. I'm also really excited this year, we're going to bring a, a film history um, series in with Mark LaPadula. He's a play playwright, a screenwriter, and a senior lecturer at Yale. Uh, he'll be talking about films that changed America and great courtroom dramas. And also we'll be having Frank Mendoza back with us again this year. He's a lecturer on film cinema and a teacher, and he's going to continue our spotlight on Hollywood legends, including Betty Davis, Vincent Price, and Bing Crosby. And also for literature, we are thrilled to have Dr. Larry Lowenthal back with us to celebrate the life and works of Robert Frost, Eugene O'Neill, and John Steinbeck. So Paula, those... Could I just interject? I know... Massachusetts is blessed, and Metro West in particular, with a lot of really um, educated cultural people here. But one thing that has been terrific with the Zoom is we have been able to even expand beyond that for what we've been able to offer people. I know in the past year, we've had people from the University of Maryland, and you mentioned about having a lecturer from Yale. And we have also had people attending from other states that had never known about us before. So that's as much as we really love having people in person here at the center, we love that Zoom has opened up the possibilities for us and for our 
participants as well and stretching beyond that. And I appreciate all the effort you have gone to, Paula, to making sure these are available uh, in all these different ways for people. Yes, yeah, Zoom really allowed us to look at programming with a different lens. And, and uh, you're right, Grace, uh, even our exercise programs, I had somebody from California who did the yoga class with us because her sister did it here and the two sisters did the class together. Oh, and, that's uh, great. When, oh, that's so good. Yeah, when we started to shift back to in-person, I had someone email me from New York City. Their cousin had told them about the programs and they were so disappointed we were going back to in-person. <laughs> So, uh, you know, it, 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 there was a, a silver lining. Um, and as Grace mentioned, you know, the, these um, the speakers, we, we do have a lot of terrific speakers locally. But boy, you know, Zoom has allowed us to kind of look, look a little beyond our own neighborhood, which has been great. Um, I just would like to briefly touch up, upon um, the other programming coming up as part of our um, our cultural and learning series. And this year we called um, our history and our world. And um, this series will look at events that have shaped our world and explore the world we live in. Our speakers will include college professors, authors, and lecturers, including Richard Bell, who's a professor of history at the University of Maryland. He also is a great course speaker, as is Edward O'Donnell, who's an associate professor of history at Holy Cross, author and podcast host. And even though Holy Cross is in our backyard, these professors are so busy they don't really have time to come see us at the Callahan Center. So, so uh, even local is more available to us. Um, we're going to also have Michael Tugius, who's the author of 29 books and a lecturer. And um, some of you are familiar with Ted Reinstein, who's a reporter for WCBB's Chronicle. Um, he'll be joining us and other distinguished presenters. Uh, the topics this year will range from a three-part series on the Civil War, a three-part program on the American century and the global emergence of the U.S., the Cuban Missile Crisis, Forgotten Patriots of the Revolutionary War, the Boston Tea Party, and some more thought-provoking programs like Juneteenth and the Destruction of Slavery in the Civil War, Immigration and the Uneasy Making of Multicultural America, What Was the Gilded Age and Are We in Another One Now, and Before Brooklyn, the unsung heroes who help break baseball's color barrier. So we really try to strike a, a, a breadth of, of history and time periods. We'll also visit places far and near, including Kilimanjaro, the national parks of the East Coast, and uh, Ted Reinstein's New England Notebook, One Reporter in Six States. Um, Aside from those cultural and history programs, we also offer a lot of informational programs on timely topics uh, of interest to older uh, adults. In fact, Arthur, you alluded to the one that you did with us last year on uh, providing some legal information for folks, which was well received. We also focus on nutrition, how to get your affairs in order, dementia. We've had programs on how to speak with your doctor, how to save energy. And we've, we've also had Zooms with state and community leaders, including a Zoom with Elizabeth Chen, Secretary of Elder Affairs. Uh, we've had um, presentations by the Mass Office of Consumer Affairs. We, we were fortunate to have Police Chief Baker with us last year. Um, we've had representatives from the Registry of Motor Vehicles, the Better Business Bureau. Um, so pretty much, you know, um, we really try to engage as many people that are in, in our, our general vicinity um, to, to share their expertise with us. And then just to quickly wrap up and mention, uh, we have a weekly blood pressure clinic on Wednesday mornings. For those of you that need a check, I'll tell you, we have a lot of regulars for that. Uh, staffed by nurses. We also have a computer room, which is open to older adults, open almost every day. There's a part-time computer room coordinator available to help. We also have an Ask the Experts staffed by volunteers on Thursday mornings, so they help people with their individual needs. Um, and we've done computer classes throughout the year. We've done trainings on using Zoom. We've done a lot of those. Uh, scams, keeping your computer safe from viruses, intro to PCs, and intro to Chromebooks. And also, just to mention, we have a every other month, we have a legal clinic with an with attorney from Metro West Legal Services, and those appointments can be made through me. We also have Shine, 
which helps people with Medicare choices that they need to make, and that's available year round. And come tax season, we have representatives from AARP tax prep on site. I would just close out by saying, you know, we hope if you drive by this building and you're 55 plus, you'll stop in sometime and check us out and see what's going on here. And to learn about our programs and see our schedule, our newsletter is online at the city's website. Um, or if you're interested in having our newsletter mailed to you, you could become a member of the Friends of Callahan. But uh, I would encourage you to see what goes on behind the walls when you drive by the Callahan Center. Thank you, Paula. You did such a great job choosing terrific programs for people, especially in the cultural and arts, and for really vetting the instructors who come here and the uh, exercise people on a regular basis. We're, we're really grateful for the skills you bring to the, to the department. And uh, can, can I just say, I, I've sure. been, I do a lot of th presentations at a lot of senior centers, so I know the program. That is the most amazing thing I've ever heard that the, 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 the breadth of what you're doing is just the most amazing thing I've ever heard, you know, in, in terms of truly getting to the essence of what a senior center can be. You know, there are a lot of, you know, you, you, whenever, when you talk to seniors, it's like, the, it's like the, the ultimate beyond bingo, you know, because you talk to seniors, right? Well, oh, it's just the bingo game. It, it's, it's, it's acknowledging the, not only the, the, the age range, but also the, the, the fact that there are so many different interests that seniors have and that if you get them together, there's a lot of really smart people, smart and and interested, and interesting, you know. And and but I but I'm and I'm really impressed though with, I have come to my you know to appreciate myself for the great silver lining of of this age of this the terrible COVID age has been that everybody now or many many people know how to use Zoom, and suddenly you can get these wonderful people from from great distances who would you would never come you know couldn't you would never come to speak but now can do it it's just it was that was a staggering presentation i'm just <laughs> that was really something so and just if i could just fill in there are also several support groups that take place at the callahan center most uh, at least uh, once a month some are happening twice a month either in person or on Zoom. And we also, given this past year, uh, I think a lot of people would benefit from taking advantage of our bereavement group that meets twice a month. So uh, give us a call, find out what we have to offer you. Your tax dollars go to support all of these programs. Right, and right. we would love to get to meet you and be available for you for whatever you might need in the future, if not right now. And Grace, if they if something triggered among the jillion things people just heard, what's the phone number? It is 508-532-5980. And we're typically open Monday through Friday from 830 to 430. Paula, thanks a million. That was great. Grace, you, you, you home run yet again. <laughs> Folks, if there's nothing there that interests you, right, you, you I, I, I would be astonished. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next installment of Frank and Mary here in Framingham. Thank you. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Paula.